I never really doubted that I wanted to come to MIT. I mean, it's actually the only school that I applied to. I really like the atmosphere of MIT. I like being surrounded by curious people. Okay. Huntington with D42 would be your control for that experiment? Mm -hmm. Okay. The Brain and Cognitive Sciences Department itself was a huge attractor for me. I like that you could participate in research as an undergraduate through the Europe up program, and I started doing that from fall semester freshman year. We have a transgenic Huntington's disease model fly, and this fly, if we express the mutant Huntington protein strongly throughout the nervous system, the flies die. And so very simply, we wanted to find something that would allow the flies to live. If we find a gene that's involved with that pathway, that could be a target for potential new therapeutics to treat the disease. The females, the abdomen ends at a point, and the males, instead of coming to a tip, the abdomen is rounded because they have a, a sex cone at the end of it. The main advantage of fruit flies is just that it's so easy to manipulate them genetically, and you can do large-scale genetic crosses with them very quickly because they emerge very, very quickly. When we find something interesting, we take the larvae and dissect them, and then we image the neuromuscular junction to see whether they still have these protein aggregates, whether the synapse itself is still overgrown. So were they TM6 over curly or just TM6? Um, so curly is on the second. Oh, okay, okay. Yep, so these are, so there's no curly in here at all. These are just um, TM6 over wild type. I'm really lucky in this lab because I have a good balance of autonomy and responsibility on one hand and mentorship on the other. As a cellular chaperone. Meg, for example, has been super open about teaching me new techniques that I want to learn, but she also gives me projects that I can nurture on my own to sort of have this idea of what it's like to have responsibility over a project and the gratification of getting your own results. My goal in life generally is just to find something interesting. And research is one of the ways to achieve that, but it just happens to also be the most fulfilling one because it's curiosity at the service of others.